In Creo Parametric, you can use Pro Program to turn your model's regeneration cycle into an interactive process. In earlier videos, we took a look at how to have different prompts change the values of dimensions in parts and assemblies. In this video, we're going to take a look at using Pro Program to change which instance of a family table is used. Let's take a look at this subassembly. Let's open it up in its own separate window. When you take a look at the model tree, you can see that the part called straight has the word pipe in angled brackets. That means that it is an instance of a family table. If I right click on the component, I can choose open generic from the asynchronous menu as PTC calls it. Then in the select instance dialog box, I can choose whether I want to open up one of the instances or the generic. When I open up the generic, you'll see that we have a couple features on top of each other. When I go to the model intent overflow menu and choose family table, we can see that we have two different instances and the difference between the instances are whether one extrude or another extrude is included in the model. Let's click the OK button out of here and go back to the subassembly. For simplicity, I'm going to write the pro program functionality here in the subassembly, although I could write it at the top level of the assembly and use the execute statement, but it would just require a few different iterations of jumping back and forth between the subassembly and the top level assembly to get that to work. For simplicity, let's do it right here at this level. I will go to the model intent overflow menu and choose program. Let's edit design. And here we have the different parameters that are coming over from the higher level. Here's where we're asking for the height. This is where I'm going to create a, another variable and I'm going to call it pipe straight. But this one is going to be of the type yes, no. And for the prompt, let's write that in here. that is good now let's write some relations that will change the value of another variable based on the result i'm going to create a, another variable and i'm going to call this one pipe type and this is going to be of the value initially straight that is the name of the instance that's currently in there although i could have had it be another different instance but here's the thing i'm going to write now uh, a an if then else statement and so if pipe straight is double equals to no then let's change the value of pipe type and the name of the other instance is angle and then let's put in our and if Let's test this out to see how it works so far. I'm going to choose File, Save. And by the way, this right now is not going to do anything to the model. I'm just going to show you how it ends up generating a couple other different parameters. Let's choose Exit. Yes, we want to incorporate. Let's enter in the different values. I'm going to select everything. And so for the pipe hole diameter, let's change that to a value of 20. For the number of bolt holes, let's change that to a value of 6. The pipe hole diameter up at the top, let's use a value of 16. And the number of the hole, or holes on top, let's use a value of 4. Height of the reducer, let's make this shorter. Now here's what you get when you have a yes-no parameter in the input section. Here we have a nice dialog box with a question that I asked. And do I want a straight pipe? I'm going to choose no, but you'll see that we still have a straight pipe because as I said, right now we're not doing anything with the parameters. If I click done return and go to parameters in here, here you see that now we have the value of the pipe straight, it's set to no, here's pipe type, it's set to angle. Let's go back to the program and have it change which instance is being used. I'll go to program and then edit design and let, then let's scroll down over here to where we are executing the part and adding the part. And instead of having the name of the instance, 
going to change this to the name of the variable that we have, pipe type. And let's do the same thing for the add statement. Get rid of the name of the instance and change it to the name of the variable in parentheses. And by the way, it's important that you put the name of the variable in parentheses. This is good. Let's hit the save button and then exit out of here. Yes, we want to incorporate our changes. Let's enter in the values in here. And this time I'm just going to answer the pipe straight question again. Do I want a straight pipe? No. And there you see now it's changing the instance that we're using in here. That is good. Now let's go up to the top level assembly. Let's hit the regenerate button and let, let's enter in values for everything. And so let's use for the diameter on the inlet side, we'll use a value of 30 for number of bolts. I'll leave that value of 12. Diameter on the outlet side, let's use a value of 15. And the number of bolts on the outlet side, leave a value of 8. For the subassembly, let's enter in our values for height and the yes no question. And so for the height of the reducer, let's use a value of 40. And do I want a straight pipe? For this time, I will click yes. And there we have the straight pipe. Let's regenerate again. And this time I'll change the type of the pipe. Let's use the current values for the top level assembly. And then let's enter in values just for the pipe straight question at the subassembly. Do I want a straight pipe? This time I will choose no. And now we're getting the angled pipe. So in this way, we're using a yes no prompt to change the name of a variable. And the variable is the name of the instance from the family table that is being placed in here. There is another method for choosing the family table instance, and that's with a lookup instance function and we'll take a look at that in another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.